but these workers haven't been joined yet. So when you organize, these workers are not represented by Yati yet. So like they organize, I help them organize. Now it's a unit. Once they get the contract, they join Hayati. So it's them, their demands, the workers' demands. They want higher pay, better benefits, and good retirement potential. And dignity and respect on top of that, yeah. But the main, for sure, is pay because these guys don't get paid anything. Some of these guys make fourteen fifty an hour, and uh, obviously that's not enough. They charge clients like 120 bucks an hour in some properties and turn around per hour for a tech and pay that tech 15 bucks an hour for 14 50. And they hold on to that rent 100 bucks, whatever it is per hour. Well, well, they have a contract with hotels, so they kick back to hotels too. So they have a contract with hotels, they charge a client, and sometimes, I don't know exactly the numbers, it ranges from like 30 to 70 percent of what. Of, uh, of what they charge the client, they kick back to the hotel. So meanwhile, the workers doing all the work, but they ain't getting nothing. Yeah. Um, so has we won't want for employed any union buses? Yeah, last year when we filed for the election during that four month period of when we filed to having the election, so we filed in March, had the election in July. Um, they hired a busting firm, union busting firm, LRI, Labor Relations Institute. And they would send emails, they would create videos, and those videos were on a website that they would send the workers to. Go to this website, hey, check out this new update. And they would create letters that they would email to the workers from LRI, but it made it just seem it's from their management. Things like that. They would have mandatory meetings, yeah. captive audience meetings, where they have to they pay the workers, so they have to be there to listen to what they So they did that for four months, and they still want to defend the which is extremely high in union elections. It usually ranges in the 60s. Um, what are the next steps for the We're going to continue doing actions. Uh, this is how we get pressure. We're going to do actions, we're going to continue building as much community, political, and union support as much as possible because everybody has relationships. Council members and the mayor and other unions have relationships, so when you bring them into the fold, they can have other pressure points they can press as well. So let's keep on building the coalition, keep on doing actions. Okay. And last question would be, how can other working class people join in the struggle? I think it's that, is uh, just follow us on, on our social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, what are those social media accounts? Instagram, it's Encore Unfair SD, San Diego. Um, and that's where we update everything, what's going on, videos, we shoot videos, we take pictures, like we're going to put some content on there from this. And if you follow it, share it, follow it, share it, so we can create as much awareness as possible. And then coming out, because it is a numbers game sometimes. Do you have any upcoming events? This is for now. We just do them every two to three weeks, mm -hmm. and uh, we plan them as we go. Yeah, because these events that they have, like they have conventions and shows that yeah. come in and out of town, we try to pick the bigger ones and target them, so we can make the most. Like right now, we went over there; they were probably in session, yeah. so they hear this. Like, what the fuck is going on? I thought Encore is a good company, yeah. and the GMs in the hotels like, dude, I don't want this right now. We have a show going on. See? So they don't want the people that are there to see how unfairly they work. Yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, dude, they had the mayor up there." Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. So you know, obviously, this campaign is validated. It's not just you know whatever off the street kind of campaign. It's a legit campaign. Special campaign. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah.